<clears throat> Foist says Sean R. Hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I'm Karma Jolt. This game is Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. I had to leave to pick up my family from the bus station. Um, as I was pretty much in the middle of the final battle. But this is it. We saved a save state. On this, the final battle, which, um... Basically, the, the final sequence is a series of three battles, and this is the third. I am sick of this game's shenanigans and unfairness. So I think what I'm gonna do... Well, I've, I basically I've saved a save state right on this section. It's the very final battle of the game. If I lose, I'll load up the save file. But I think what I want to do here is like just put in some units that can uh, do a whole bunch of physical damage here. So let me like get rid of Chaucer. I think this was my problem earlier is that I, I tried to make this guy useful, but he dies in one hit in this battle because the enemies here are very powerful. Um, so instead, I'm gonna put in Cassidy, and I think I'm gonna change her job before I do that. What's going on? Sean R. and Ice Hero Brian and Nicholas D. And Cannon Gary. Fingers crossed this works. Jordy Pants, Jordy Pants, Jordy Pants! Oh my gosh, are you trying to summon her? Alright, alright. So, I think what I wanna do... Let's change... Let's change Cassidy into... doesn't change her... Does this change her HP? I want to change her into something... Yeah, that has move 4. That seems pretty good. Let's make her a gladiator. And then, like... I think the laws for this particular battle... They might prevent me from doing... From using this sword. Faintly warm blade made of stone. Fire blade absorbs fire, halves water. That's really good. That's, like, defensively very good. Now, we were talking earlier about this game, how it... It doesn't do a good job of, like, describing how stuff works. Absorb ice, half fire. What about this? Absorb fire, half ice. Let's just do that. One of the laws for this battle is that I'm not allowed to use broadswords, but what's really stupid about this game is that when you when you look at the info for a, an item or a weapon specific in this example, it will not tell you if that sword you're looking at qualifies as a broadsword. So like often you just have to guess. So so again, for this particular battle where I've saved a save state it's telling me that I'm not allowed to use broadswords. The thing that I've equipped looks like a katana, I would say. Which I wouldn't categorize as a broadsword. But I'm pretty sure I will get a yellow card if I use this sword. So, what I might want to do... Yeah, is equip myself with monk tech and basically use air render from a distance. And then let's use double hand. Oh. Okay, so I will double hand the Venus Blade, which will double my attack power with it, I guess. And then let's put Cassidy in... Well, I want to put her in the front here, but... Give me a second, because I'm going to change the position of Galler. Actually, I might even... Let's make her a white mage and give her something that will give her the raise spell. And then, like, give her time magic or something. So that she can haste people. I see you, any Enigma. Uh, 
Um, okay, so what gives the... What gives, like, rays here? For a white mage. Life, that's what I'm looking for. I call it life in this game. And then, like, obviously, let's do the... Thunder Road. Absorbs lightning? Okay. Why don't you just equip all the coats and absorb everything? Like, it's impossible to wear two robes. I've done it before. I've done it on stream before, as a matter of fact. What is this? Oh, okay, she can teleport. That seems neat. Wait a minute. That seems really good. What is the range on the teleport? I should give that to, like, one of my units that hits hard. Does this give move? No, it gives evade and res. That's fine. And then, like, a magic ring. Alright, let's put Galler here. And then I want Cassidy in the front row, but, like, possibly give her these teleporting shoes? That seems nice. Yeah. And I think we might be ready to go. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna save another save state here. So let's do save game over slot six. What's up, sarcasm? And we might be ready to go. Now, this battle is probably a lot easier if I can put one of these helpers to sleep, like, immediately. Sorry for the mistake. I am eepy. I mean sleepy. You can say eepy. So, oops, not thunder. Not poison. 20% chance to hit! Actually, you know what? There's no way... This gets me a better chance. Because this, I'm not technically, like, at his side here. No, 30%. Okay, so that does count as a hit on the side there. Slightly better chance to put this person to sleep. I missed. <clears throat> That's okay. We're gonna try it a couple times. And if we lose, we'll load up the save file like a bunch of cheaters. Star Cross. What are those crazy sticks they have? Is that a blade at the end of the stick? Mm, that wasn't awful. I think I just want to run up as close as possible. I'm th I was thinking maybe I want to stay one square back so that my hunter can run up and give him the um, raise critical hits percentage buff. But let's just do... Yeah, let's get some HP back here. So what did everyone do today? I had a great day. I accidentally struck my shoulder against a cabinet door handle so hard that I bled all over my kitchen. Oh no, Nicholas D. I picked up my family and then had cake. I got a fun car recently, a two-seater, one for me, one for Karma, but today I gave my daughter her first ride in it. She had fun and we got ice cream. Yo, any Enigma, are you like a cars person? Alright, I will just hit for 63 here. What kind of ice cream? All right, nearly 69 damage. Yankee leveled up. <clears throat> I'm a super cars person. That's why you love F099. I keep bumping my desk with my uh, with my armrests, and it's making my webcam be like whoop, 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 whoop. exactly like that. As a matter of fact. So let's see. So who needs curing? This is fine. 
I do 24 hours of lemons racing. Heck yeah. I'm a 16-bit cars person. <clears throat> I'm a Sega Master Cars person. Would you say you're a car majolt? Haven't played this game in like 21 years. Isn't this the last boss? It is, as a matter of fact. The dude's dead mom. Yes, 40 win. Let me, uh, let me increase the font size on my chat here so I can read it with my terrible eyes. Give lemon or I shall retire. Retiring sounds great, honestly. Star cross. Not as good as Star Fox. Alright, I don't love how much that's chipping away at me, but I am regenerating with my hunter. <clears throat> now, I think what I want to do in this battle is walk up real close to Princess Remedy here. She's gonna crush us with this, huh? So that I might bait her into physically attacking. As a matter of fact, what I might even want to do is walk right up to her and face the opposite direction so she comes up to punch me instead of using one of her, like, bombs that will kill my entire party. Okay, that could have been way worse. And, just for a, an occasion like this, I have the light spell. Will it reach? Yeah, it will. 100% chance to work. What's up, Dandy009? Damn, not Rams, I got destroyed. I still remember playing this and wondering what developer said, you know what would make FFT better? Soccer rules. <laughs> yeah, I guess I haven't really, uh... I haven't really mentioned that, like, red and yellow card is very reminiscent of soccer. Okay, so the teleport shoes are not nearly as good as I thought they were. Because what I wanted to do with them was teleport anywhere on the map, but it would have been better if I just had plus one more move. Instead, I can teleport within my movement range, which is like, fine if you need to go through some people, but that's not that great. No sleeps. All right, so this one I'm not getting good luck, and I might have to reset. But that's okay. We share 40% of our DNA with an apple, so we should be part lemon, too. Yeah, we should get some lemon DNA. Lemon. That's right. Nurse! I don't know if this is worth doing. But I might be able to survive one more attack if I have, like, 140 HP instead of 110, you know? Regenerated! Alright, Yankee. Let's go fight some people. So let's Sonic Boom here. By the way, I want to just show you the laws real quick. Um... Damage to animals? Forbidden. Broadswords? Forbidden. Copycat? For forbidden. So, like, I might get in trouble if two people attack in a row, you know? Yo, KJ, it's 5.30pm, and you've had nothing but water to drink all day. What drink do you want most? First of all, it's like 8-something. Oh, you're setting up a hypothetical, huh? Depends on what I've done with my day, but that it's too late for coffee at 5.30. Uh, maybe something a little bit sweet? I don't mind me a mixed drink, but I'm trying to cut down on drinking lately, on, on alcohol consumption.
Final boss at level 27 seems low, but I never got this far as a team. Same, Dandy009. Alright, who needs curing? Oh, Nina does, for sure. A margarita? I like those. Today, I'm feeling something like... I don't know, something fruity. That's a good question. I'll have to think about it. If I've had nothing but water all day, probably food. <laughs> Breath of God! Ah, uh, I don't like this. Please, miss. Nice. What's up, I like Mario games? By the way, the plan here is if I can, if this doesn't take me hours and hours, then I um, will probably get to Dragon Quest VIII after that tonight, after this tonight. But I'm guessing it might take me a while. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. Oddity Jimbo, what's going on? Am I gonna win this time? I sure hope so. Alright, let's raise, let's life this person here. I'm downloading all Pokemon Gen 1 through 7 Pokemon games. And my storage is suffering. <laughs> yes, officer, that's him. Chalky milk, that's the real answer. Okay, so here I might consider sleeping like one of these people. Wait. Oh, I couldn't tell which way he was facing. Forty percent chance, huh? How much HP does this lady have? Yeah, let's try the sleep. Let's try to put the sleep on him. Straub milk, vanilla milk, butter milk. Oh my gosh. Regular milk is fine too. Like whole milk. What's your strat here anyway? Dandy to low nine? I don't know. I think I am super under leveled and like I'm not familiar with this game. So I'm just kind of hoping I can do something, you know? Lightning damage. Thundaga, eh? Nice. That guy just woke up, too. Alright, give me a turn to, like, damage somebody here. I'm a tired milk. Yes, that is a type of milk. Alright, let's hit this lady. Look, just like eight or nine of those, and we'll win the game. Yes, I regenerated. Shoot. I can't Sonic Boom without hitting somebody, hitting one of my dudes here. Sidewinder still... Okay. So yeah, what I was thinking is, I can't do my regular attack, so I have to do something other than that, or else it'll be illegal. Sidewinder deals big damage to beasts, but I guess it just counts as a normal attack to... Um, Non-beasts, I guess. But for the purpose of the law, this, this still won't be a copycat here. Okay, 30 experience from that. Real ish, what's going on? Finally, I summoned you at the beginning of the stream, Jordy Pants. He did. 
Yeah, if they keep using this attack over and over, then I'm toast. Boo! Yeah, I've only got two characters left, and they're not gonna survive. some damage. Double shot. So, like, I can see double shot being useful if you have, like, a weapon that adds some sort of status effect or something. Or, like, a weapon that when you hit with it, it uses a spell. Because then you get two chances to do that, and that's awesome. But is there stuff like that in this game? I don't even know. But yeah, welcome, Jordy Pants. Carry us, Nina. Yeah, I might Nina to I might need Nina to put somebody to sleep. Amber, you crit. Low damage roll there, that's not great. Law shift. Okay, that's good, because it's not going to hurt anyone. It's not going to damage any of my party members. Also, I really don't think it's going to affect anything at all, as a matter of fact. Because what is the law now? Yeah, I can't use sabers. Well... I, I actually don't know if Hambert's sword counts as a saber. If they, like, I don't know, if I get really lucky... Mute! Wake up! Mute! Nah, no thanks. I can't do this alone. <clears throat> if you don't help me destroy this... If you don't help me destroy this, nothing will happen. What's so bad about nothing happening? Hambert? Mute, can you hear me? Hambert, I... I want to go... Mute! Where you wanna go? You wanna go? You wanna go, son? Thanks. Thanks, Sid, for helping. You wanna go, brah? Yeah, exactly. Oh no, Mateus woke up. Woke up and untapped Rapture is here. Okay, well, if they're right next to each other... I can possibly sleep them both, but like, if if I die here, that's GG. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's load up the save file. And also, like this item that I equipped sounds way better than it actually is, and and you can say that about a lot of the items and abilities in this game. I want more movement. Sure, let's try this. I started over. What's up, Radin? I hit it when my weapon was technically violating the law, because you don't really know all the differences. Yes, exactly! That's what I was saying earlier. Like, broadswords are against the law here. And, and like, the weapon, when you, when you go to the info screen on the weapon, it doesn't tell you whether it falls into that category or not. 
What's up, Relic? I'm trying to put Mateus to sleep with my commentary. All right, that missed. That was not good. Don't be jealous. That's good advice. Thank you. Dang it. They're crossing me up here. Like they're Allen Iverson. With the star cross. Dang. That hit everyone. Unluck. Alright, so what happens if I do this? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna use Nurse to gain back a little bit of HP here. And then I'm gonna turn away and hopefully I can bait out a physical attack here. What's up, Izzy? I see you screaming. You do that a lot in the chat. 60% chance to hit? Boom! 69 damage. Great start. Yankee leveled up. I feel like Cura is fine here. We all scream for ice cream. That's right. Hi! Welcome, Jordy Pants. Yo, Ralic became a god tier member? Thank you so much. That's super awesome. You know what you can do now that you are a channel member? Is you can, like, put these emojis in the chat. And you can, like, see all of my members' exclusive uh, content. Of which there's, like, kind of a lot. There's, like, kind of a lot of it. All right, that one was much better, because it missed three of us, right? But yeah, welcome. Welcome to God Tier. Yo, that's awesome. Thank you so much. All right, couldn't bait out a physical attack. Oh, this is the one that's, that's GG. This is the one that kills my entire party, and I can just reset now. But this is awesome. <laughs> like, you should at least see this animation before it wipes all of us out. I need... <clears throat> I need a lot of things to go my way this fight if I want to win. And I need I need the enemy to absolutely not use that attack. So I can safely say that we've lost that one. Let's start over. And I don't want to forget to do this. All right, let's try again. I swear, Karma Jolt, I'd become a member and donate the dollars if I wasn't saving up for a suit of armor, I swear. <laughs> nice. A little sweet stuff, anytime. Now, show this game who is great. I'm trying. I think, like, a uh, sleep first turn would be dope. If I can actually get this to work. Where's Dragon Quest? Yo, Johnny Doe? If I finish this, like, before 10 o'clock, we'll do it. Okay, I put him to sleep. Nice. Good start. They sell them at medieval times. Armor gotta be expensive, I bet. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Jordy Pants. I think I looked up a uh, like a Spanish Crusader helm the other day, because I was looking for like the specific word for like the. Um, I think it's called a pikeman's pot, is what the English called it. But like that kind of helmet that looks like a like a bowl with like a a stripe that goes over the top. And the Spanish called it a Morion. But, like, I saw people selling them online for, like, 170. All right, let's nurse. Noise, as Sean R. would say. <clears throat> I 
Do they accept dollars or gold? <laughs> That's a good question. Boom! 65. Gold ducats. Yes, ducats. What phase is this, says Hunter Richter? Literally the final battle. And welcome! I got a new God Tier mem today. Isn't that neat? Let's move this way. Yeah, close. Actually, you know what? Let's go here. Bring it, Remedy. Dang it, she's gonna wipe us out here. Ugh! This looks different. I think last time she used this ability, it was Cannon Guy. Either way, what do I do about that? We reset. And then let's, uh, let's save here. Pressy P! I got whoops. I got wiped out again. Should I try putting her to sleep first thing? Like, maybe that's the play. It's only a 20% chance. I watched your SSN Pokemon video. Hey, thanks. Yeah, the one where you can reboard the SSN after it sets sail in uh, Gen 1 Pokemon. Lightning damage. Interesting that they're doing Thundaga here. Low chance to hit. It missed us both. Okay, that's nice. That's a great start. Let's do defense here. Yo, Karma, I just learned of a useless glitch in Super Mario All-Stars. Yo, Nick D, tell me about it. Hit me with it. Let's run up and bomb this lady. What an interesting form. She's like the most beautiful bowling pin I've ever seen. What does IIRC mean? If I recall correctly, it means if I remember correctly. Level up! Okay, none of them are hurt. Let's go straight up here. And wait. Alright, come punch me physically. Don't use Descent. Gosh, she keeps running away. This one's not as bad as Descent. Because I might actually dodge it. It hit nearly everyone, and it outright killed Cassidy. All 
All right, let's life here. Apparently in all the games on that compilation, if you touch a fire flower at the same frame, you take damage. You will turn into either a red frog suit Mario or two Luigi's standing on each other for a couple of frames. In all of the games on that compilation? You take damage at the same time you touch a fire flower. I'll look that up. Cool as if I could haste myself here. Oh, I can really get behind her here. Double shot. Okay, well at least this is this is gonna prevent her from going into the corner. If I can crit, it'll push her out too. Ooh, yeah, see? Weird that the first crit didn't push her, it was the second attack that pushed her out. I think Rain is dead. Is Sid helping in any way this battle? No. No, he's just watching. Alright, please miss everyone. Oh, that's really bad that my white mage died. I still have my damage dealers alive, though. So if there's like a small chance, I can just like get some really fast and lucky damage. All right, let's Sonic Boom here. All right, that's not so bad. Please physically attack. Oh, that looks like that's what she's doing. It might kill, though. Omega? Never mind. Maybe that is physically attacking. I'm honestly still doing better than I've done in previous games, in previous attempts. Alright, let's use Air Render here. 31 damage, that's it. And it missed. Getting a lot of lag. Is the stream lagging? So sorry about that, folks. I like this. Hey, yeah. Oh, it actually hit. Okay, but it didn't do much damage, and that's fine. If that other person wakes up, though, that's pretty bad. I do like that they're bunched up enough. That I can hit two people at once. Let's do that. Knock knock, how's there? Any enigma. An unconventional way to answer the door. <laughs> Damage! Uh, might be toast. Well, it missed one of my guys, but, um,. That's probably GG. All 
All right, let's reset again. You know what? Let's do this. Another accessory that gives like res, I think, like magic resistance. Uh, I'm trying to do this. 265. That seems fine. All right, begin battle. Have you tried presetting? Yo, pickles the man. Is this really happening? Like, I hope so. I might just resort to save state shenanigans to beat this. If this doesn't go well within the next couple tries. Lightning damage? Wait, wait, it's gonna do zero. Whoa, that's crazy. First of all, that, that guy went first before any of my other characters. Alright, run up and punch me. Why is Sid being the referee like help us, bro? Oh, yeah, exactly. He's actually only hurting us. Alright, that guy does decent damage. Should maybe try to keep him alive. played Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I heard they were good games. I have not. Not like a huge Pokemon fan here. I haven't actually played too many of the real, actual Pokemon games, but Pokemon Snap? Love that series. There's two of them. Check the guide. They claimed... Okay. Game over. This instantly kills my entire party, except for Nina, who has re-raise. There's a Pokemon underneath you. Which one, bruh? Would it be Diglett? What do I do about that? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Alright, let's try something else. Let's try putting Remedy to sleep. First turn. If I can get that to work, then I can have everyone just like run up to her. It's only a 20% chance is the problem. Jordy Pants, you didn't miss anything. I had to reset a couple times because my entire party got wiped. Well, okay, that's a decent start too. Yo, hit me with the Thundaga now. Of course, he's gonna run away and do Star Cross attack. See you, Karma Jolt. All right, I like Mario games. Thanks for showing up. I'm retired. All right, that wasn't so bad. Maybe I should give somebody else that re-raise thingy. That'd be a cool move. Have Hamburg wait. If 
fact, I'll have everyone wait until we can all get within range of, um, of Remedy. Yo, Pickles the man with the cool five Canadian dollars. I believe in you, yo. Thank you so much. That's your third super on a live stream, according to YouTube? Heck yeah. I will celebrate it. The game stopped because when I click out of the game, obviously it uh, it needs it waits for me to read the chat. But yeah, thank you so much. And we got a gob tier member earlier. I don't think I don't think there was enough hype for that. That was pretty sweet. So thanks, both of you. Okay, now maybe I should try to put another one of these guys to sleep. And the first two were for you. <laughs> yeah, I remember you already gave me five Canadian dollars before, at least once. I mean, I've been around. Oh my gosh, you're Arano. In other words, Regni269. Okay, I know I could, um... I know I could, like, heal somebody here, but I honestly think maybe haste is a good call. Speed time! God tier is awesome. You can request to see Tiny Cat. <laughs> that's that's true! That is true of my God tier members. I think one person used that ever. Too. Should rip off Mega Harv and have the tiny cat chat emojis. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, I got a yellow card because we just used haste. Even though it's a different type of magic entirely. Like my other person used haste time magic. But I used haste sacred tech, and apparently it's the same. So, yep. Got a yellow card for that. Alright, let's do this. And um, Sonic Boom here. I realize I'm bunching up, but honestly, I think that, that might be what I want to do this battle because it looks like Mateus tends to do like Thundaga more often when we're bunched up, and that has like a, a high miss rate. And I think Nina's best use for this battle is to try to put dudes to sleep. So let's hope this 30% works. You want a couple ideas on how to manage this fight? Nah, any Enigma, I'm good. To be honest, I did this off screen like pretty easily with just some decent luck. Look at this pretty cat. You should advertise it more. Maybe you're right. Okay, I'm afraid of getting bombed now by by Princess Remedy in a world of hurt. Which was a game that I played a long time ago. It's called Princess Remedy in a World of Hurt. Um, and then there was a sequel, Princess Remedy in a Heap of Trouble. I don't remember which one is which. But it's like a fun little game where, like, you run around healing the world. And basically what that means is, like, you'll talk to someone who's like, I'm sick. And then, like, a battle screen appears where you, like, shoot pills at viruses. And it's, like, a little bit like a bullet hell at times. But overall, the game just, like, had a really good sense of humor. Something I played, played probably back in, like, 2017. Okay, I actually think I can hit her from here. So let's do... Like, do I want to cure? Yeah, that actually might be the best to play. Am 
damn it. I need to make sure that Galar doesn't die, because that's my reviver. Hardly knew her. Karma, I learned something about SMB2 USA you might be interested in. Let's hear it, Mega Man Trinity, and welcome. So you can take Phanto's key through open doors. In 1-2, you can use it as a weapon against Birdo, yeah! Yeah, you know what? I'm glad you reminded me of that, because I saw that recently and I was like, how come I've never seen this? I should make a video about that. Let's write it down, as a matter of fact. Does anyone have a pen? I should. I was part of the Pen 15 Club in middle school. All right, don't nuke us. Incredible damage. Uh-oh. Alpha. Better than Omega, huh? It does have a chance to miss, but, like, it looks like I'm toast here. All right, it only hit one of us. That's fine. Um, SMB2 key bird. Oh, birdo. This is a marker, I'm realizing. Alright, let's life on Cassidy. Did you have cooties too? I might still. Those are permanent, right? Like, those don't go away? Alright, you can wait. Amber speed resets. Let's do a regular fight here. That was pretty bad. But Sonic Boom is doing decent damage. What's up, Roger R? Thanks, Any Enigma. I got your texts about doing that video. I can't do this alone. I'm not reading this because we've seen it a few times. I couldn't imagine having cooties without free healthcare. Yeah, pickles demand, it's crazy. Healthcare system in America is such a joke. Do I have any way to fight without using regular fight? Alright, so... Hopefully this, like, katana that I'm equipped with does not constitute a broadsword. So I can actually have that unit attack, in other words. So I might want to sleep Mateus. But man, Remedy is so close. So close to dying here. It's only a 30% chance. Okay, now it's 40. Yeah, let's do this, because, like, God's Breath would be pretty devastating. Yes! Yes!
Hey, John David, you're probably gonna get banned. <laughs> Unless that's your cat sitting on your keyboard. That happens to me all the time. But usually when my cat sits on my keyboard, it's just all zeros, because she'll sit on like the corner where the, um, where the number pad is. Walter White is here. Spellbind, uh-oh, this could be trouble. He lived. It wasn't nearly as much trouble as I thought. Down AB Karma Cooties. Feels so good to me. Yo, Sean R with a cool dollar ninety nine. Thank you so much. Oh, I got away before I could click the like button. But just know that I liked it. All right, hit her here. I just need her to not use a, a nuke that kills everyone in the party. So yeah, do like a law change or something stupid. Uh-oh, she's gonna run away and summon here. Or magi. Okay, so this is survivable, but it's not good news. I would have rather had her do something like law change. But I think I might be toast here. That was pretty bad. All right, I gotta, I gotta do a hail mary here. Double sleep. Let's go. All right, I got one of them. Yeah, I didn't realize this Mateus was getting a, a turn like right now. Please miss. Let's just act like uh, that didn't happen here. and go back a couple turns. It'll be fine. God, this is so cheap. <laughs> I play this game a ton and apparently I'm like super under leveled. Like I've seen I've seen videos of people being like, "Yeah, I'm level 40 for the final boss and that's a little under leveled." Holy cow. Okay. Lightning me. Starcross is fine, I think. What does the guy with the metal hat look like? Shredder from the Turtles. I see it. You're not wrong. Amber's like almost dead there. Karma, how are you tonight? I'm doing like fine. Thank you. This is huge. All right, that will allow us to survive like a little longer, I think. Do 
You know, you know what I might even do. I don't know if rain actually hits all that hard. Should I cure Hambert? I don't know what the play is here. Actually, if I can haste Yankee, that's awesome. Or even hasting Cassidy might be fine, but she'll probably die faster. Still not gonna survive like an entire attack. This is an awkward situation here. This might be the right play. You can recruit Sid after you beat the game. Is that true, 40 win? I don't want him. Please crit. It's fine, 63. Yeah, like, I just need her to not wipe out my entire party, which I think she's about to do right now. Shoot. Also, this attack takes forever. <laughs> Yo, Sean R. gifted five Karma Jolt memberships? That's what Sean R. does, everybody. Thank you so much. Welcome Elvis Pressplay and E-Man and Star Phoenix and P.O. the Genius. And there was probably one more that I missed, but YouTube isn't like, just like not letting me scroll up in the chat lately. Walter White, welcome back. Hey, Sean, thank you so much. Okay, so the person that I hasted died, and so that ended up being a wasted turn. Sean, I appreciate you. 74 is a big hit. Is this gonna do any damage? Like, just enough that maybe one more hit will kill. Oh boy. I need them to live is the problem. Starcross. Hit me with a star uppercut. Oh baby, that was awesome that it only hit one of us. Now, I think my play here is just to make sure that Yankee survives, but he's at full health. Let's do this, then. Keep my white mage alive. Wiccan, Yankee. Take a turn now. Cheers to whoever's playing Emoji Ping Pong with me. Yo, hi, Hunt. Welcome. I think I'm about to hunt this high priestess goddess lady. Without any cheating whatsoever, or save state manipulation, I definitely beat Final Fantasy Tactics. Advance, fair and square, without cheating. 
Mama. Thank you. Press one in the chat, everybody. Dusted. See ya. Abuse for views. Mute! <clears throat> I think Mute is from Mute City. Yesterday when I was streaming F099, this guy in the chat, Abuse for Views, beat me on Port Town 1 by one hundredth of a second. It was a, it was a, a hot race. That song for a second sounded like God Save the Queen. Snow, what's it doing here? At this time of year, in January. I think the world is trying to go back to the way it was. It was snowing the day it changed. I guess Hambert did what he said he was gonna do. Weird that I didn't uh, recruit that character, and that's okay. What's her name, Ritz? What's okay? Karma Joel's the best, I know you could do it. Yo, thanks, Jordy. I mean, going back, I thought you still weren't sure. I'm not sure. Maybe I never will be. I certainly don't want to lose this hair. Is white hair really so bad? Of course it is! Ask any old person. But my hair is white. Did you think worse of me because of it? Yes! I hate you! Shara, no, I think all Vieras have beautiful hair. But it's different for me. I'm a human. Then you are well loved by the spirits of the Viera. It's Viera is the plural, by the way. White hair is the most beautiful gift of the spirits. I also like salt and pepper hair, says Roger R. A. Nice. White hair is beautiful. No mere human could receive this gift, Ritz. Only you. You were chosen. You are special. Well, it's tough being special. I know! Ask anyone in the chat here. You'll be fine, Ritz. You're tough, I should know. And if you laugh, your mother will not be sad. I think it was you being sad that made her sad. Shara. I prefer a touch of gray. I got a little bit going on here. I would like to see your true hair. I would. I think it must be as beautiful as new fallen snow, which is like moderately beautiful. Thank you, Shara. I think I can go home now. Yay, Ritz. Love you with white hair and with peanut butter. That's right. Master Sid. The prince. Is he not with you? Who? No, he's disappeared. What? What is the meaning of this? Be cool, baby. It was none of Hambert's doing. Wait, is that what he said? Did I read that wrong? Hambert wanted to search for him, but I wouldn't allow it. Yes, yeah, Sid, you were kind of a jerk. Prince Mute? But this world, it still exists. So the prince must still be here. Babus. It's Babus. <laughs> Dad, Hambert, I'll be right there. Be cool, baby. <laughs> That's right, Jordy Pants. I can't read. <laughs> Your Highness. Sorry to make you worry, Babus. I'm fine, really. It's Babus. Your Highness. I had to say goodbye to Mom. I'm going home. Yeah, thanks for trying to kill me all those times. She took me to look after you, Dad. Hmm, yes, I suppose I need it. Hambert, I... That's fine. Let's go home. Hambert. Even after we leave, your mom will still be in your heart. That will never change, even if we do. But let's take it easy and see what happens. Okay. A high nest? Well, he does go to the drugstore a lot in Earthbound. I wonder if going back will be as sudden as coming here was. Probably. 
there won't be time to say goodbye or thanks to everyone. Koopo, just leave that to me, Koopo. I'll spread the word for you, Hambert Koopo. Thanks, what was your name again? Thanks, Mont Blanc. You've been a great friend. I never would have made it this far without you. They kissed, like homies. That's what me and Sean R. did. Babus, I might forget you. What did he say? And you did so much for me here. Even if you do forget, Prince Mute, I will remember and remain your faithful servant always. Babus, thank you. You're pretty cool. I wonder if this Ivalis will just disappear. It doesn't seem to be doing that. We don't we don't seem to be moving. So if we wish it, the world will change. Likewise. Perhaps if those here wish it enough, they will remain. Though we from the other world may never come back, or maybe we can just come and go as we please. Like that might have been a thing the whole time. I'm sure you're right, Dad. I'm sure you're right, as a matter of fact, because I'm guessing. Goodbye, everyone. What's wrong, Koopo? I have to go home. Bye, everyone. It was fun. Is that Don Ed? I forgot the characters. Characters in this game, not not exactly memorable, I would say. I mean, I realize there are a bunch of kids. Whoa, everything died. Good job on punching the wildlife. Whoops. Hey, you're disappearing. That's illegal. That's what that judge was like right there. See ya. Wow, your hair really is as white as snow. You aren't going to dye it anymore? I might if I change my mind. Hmm, green might be nice. Ew, gross. Still, it would be kind of cool, but gross. This is an acid trip, Roger R. Mr. Rando. Remember? Remember me? I used to work for you. He, like, pulls out a gun. Yes, Biggs. You look well. So you started your own company? That's right, and actually, a big project's coming up. I thought you'd be the best man for the job. How about it? I accept! What is it? The project is, you have to jump into a volcano. Hey, Don Ed, you finished Final Fantasy yet? Whoa! Can you tell me how to defeat Andromalek? Easy, Double Sword and Mind Break are pretty good. Show me your save data, I'll get you set up. I didn't use that, I think I just punched him a bunch. Thanks, I have lots of abilities, see? That's the, that's the name of the game? Is there a wedge in this game too? Yeah, there's a bigs and a wedge in a lot of Final Fantasy games. I don't remember if there's a wedge. Are you okay, Mute? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, you're real kind, new kid. Kinda dumb, ha <laughs> ha. All right, that was a pretty good one, I gotta admit. My name's not new kid, it's Hambert. Don't forget it. Huh? Hey, he's gonna like hit him with a ninjutsu. Um, Hambert? Bop bop. Ung! Hey, Lyle, Colin! See you guys at school tomorrow! Mute, let's go home. Oh no, I was gonna stand around after that line, I think. Sick burn, got him! And that was the day the world ended. Oh my gosh. I know a lot of you have been telling me like, oh man, I love this game so much. I played it when I was a kid. This game's awesome. And like, I swear it's got so much potential. But I feel like... I 
I feel like in order to properly enjoy this game, you have to have already played it, like, a lot, a lot. Um, because... I kept having the same problems over and over, where, like... I felt like I was learning a lot of abilities for my classes, right? But at some point in the game, I was like, why have I only unlocked, like, two job classes for this one character who has, like, a million abilities? And it's because I didn't unlock, like, the... enough from the previous classes or something like that, right? So it's just a little bit weird that the game doesn't really explicitly tell you how to become more powerful, which is what you freaking need to do in order to beat that last boss. And I understand... <clears throat> I understand that this is a Game Boy Advance game, so they had a tiny little screen. And one pixel takes up relatively a large amount of space on a tiny screen when you're comparing it to something like Final Fantasy Tactics on PlayStation. But I would love if the descriptions for the abilities and the spells and, like, the weapons were just a little bit clearer. Or they gave you more information. Yeah, it's kind of rough when you're on the final boss and still wondering how skills work. So, like, all the time this would happen, right? So I, like, would be like, oh, let's, let's go, let's make this character a new class. And now that I'm this new class, I can equip all of these new weapons. If I hit the R button, what's up, David Ribs Carrillo? If I hit the R button, the game will tell me what ability I can learn from that weapon. But it won't tell me what that ability does until I equip the weapon and then possibly get into a battle and use the info screen or the, uh, the information button on that ability. Then it will give me like a really vague description of what that ability does. So like previously, like just earlier today, I was using an ability for the first time called Advice, and it was like, raises critical rate. Oh, okay, how do I use it? Can I target myself with it? Well, I found out that I couldn't do that. So I thought, alright, if I can't target myself with it, it must be something that I use against an enemy, and now all incoming attacks on that enemy have a higher chance to critical hit. No, that's not how it works. You use it on your ally, and that ally will have higher critical hit rates for the remainder of battle. But like, why couldn't it just say like, raises targets critical hit rate? Just that one word in there would have made it much clearer. <sighs> True, the game has a heavy amount of grinding. Yeah, in order to learn a lot of stuff. And like, again, I get that it was a Game Boy Advance game, so they couldn't fit that much information on the screen, but like, doesn't change the fact that I was struggling with like knowing what abilities did what. Anyway, oh, and another problem I had was like, I, I know I mentioned this a lot, but man, just to look at the laws, it was a different button depending on whether you were in the overworld map or if you were in the middle of a battle or if it was like the pre-battle setup. It's a different button every time, which I thought was wild. Other than that, like, I don't know, this game, I, again, it's probably really fun if you know what you're doing and you can make your characters, like, super powerful and imbalanced. That said, I'm glad to be done with it. Oh my gosh, we finally finished Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching me stream all the way through this game. I started in, like, 2021. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take like maybe a 15 minute break and then I'm going to set up Dragon Quest 8 and we'll stream that for like an hour or so. So hopefully I'll see you in 20-ish minutes. Thank you so much for watching me beat all of Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great. And if I don't see you, have a great night.